Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new vlog. It is a brand new week, the sun is shining, I have such a lovely week planned and I'm so looking forward to it. The last vlog you would have watched was the bank holiday weekend and last week and I honestly had the nicest week. When I edited back the vlog I just felt so happy and so like joyful and really grateful and it was just such a nice weekend to end off the week. However, because it was bank holiday weekend, it always feels like I literally have been out of the swing of work for three weeks. It's so weird how a few days just really throws you off. I think a combination of staying somewhere that's like not our house, drinking wine, going to bed much later than usual, it just makes me feel so out of sorts on like the Monday or Tuesday. So yes, today I am feeling a little bit jaded, a little bit strange, but all is good. I have washed my hair. I've actually cleaned the mattress this morning because I, whenever I changed the bed, I started to notice that Jack's side of the bed, I think it's where he gets really hot. Um, there was like a few stains, like a few marks on, the, on his side of the bed. So I got my upholstery cleaner and I've cleaned it. And I mean, it has made a bit of a difference. It's definitely got some of the stains out, but it still doesn't look great. So I think when we move, I'm actually going to purchase a kind of like proper cleaner hoover thing so I can do like all the sofas and everything all the time. Um, and we'll have more space to keep it. So it makes more sense to get it when we move. Um, so yeah, I've done that this morning. I have put the bedding in the wash. I've just changed over the bedding. I need to actually make the bed later. Um, when the mattress has dried but I've got a lovely day today so I'm just gonna spend the next kind of hour on my laptop I need to do some selects for a brand job I need to plan some content do some emails and all of that stuff and then I am actually going out for a beauty treatment today which is a treatment that I've never done before so my salon that I get my nails done Beau Boutique Oh my god, also so exciting. Leanne, who does my nails, who I always talk about, I just absolutely love Leanne so much. She just got engaged and oh, I was so excited. She went to Greece. She's in Mykonos right now with her boyfriend and every single appointment I have with her, we end up talking about engagements and weddings and it's just so funny. We always talk about it. And she's finally engaged and I'm so happy. So I cannot wait to see her um, in the next couple of weeks. Once she's back, I'm gonna pop in and give her some flowers and a card and stuff. Um, and then I've got an appointment on the 23rd, just before we move. So I'm gonna get my nails, um, I'm gonna get her to file my nails down quite a bit shorter, just so that they don't break. And when I'm moving and packing and stuff, they're not gonna get in the way, because they are growing so quickly. But anyway, Beau Boutique, I absolutely love. I go to the salon in Tenterden, but they also have another one in Ashford as well. That's kind of like their flagship salon. And they asked me if I wanted to go in to try M Sculpt, which is something I've seen all over Instagram. I've seen so many people trying it and always thought that looks really good. I've seen some really good before and afters. And I'm just so intrigued about beauty products and treatments like this, especially when they're like non-invasive. They're just quite an easy thing to do. So I'm really excited. Basically, M Sculpt is a machine that kind of has like a current running through it and it almost contracts your muscles. So it's quite gimmicky, I think, but I'm really excited to see how it actually works on me because I've seen some great before and afters and I think this is going to be kind of what I need to give me that push to get back into Pilates because I literally wake up every morning and I'm just so out of the routine, I just can't be bothered. So I think this is going to give me the push that I need. But basically the machine goes on your tummy, you can also get it on your bum as well. Um, and it contracts the muscles and it basically is like having 20,000 sit-ups in 30 minutes. So I'm very intrigued. I cannot wait to see what it's like. I don't know if it's gonna hurt. I don't know anything. I'm so intrigued. So yeah, I will take you along to that later. I also need to do the food shop today because I have Nadia coming over on Thursday and she's staying for a couple of nights. So I need to get some nice dinners. I need to stock up the fridge because it is absolutely empty. <laughs> Whenever we go away, I never have any food in the fridge. <laughs> I just, I think I'm really good at the food shop because I buy what we need and we eat it all and we never waste anything. So it does mean that if I haven't done a food shop, we have no food. 
So anyway, I'm just doing some selects now for a job that I have coming up this month, which I need to film before we move. So I'm very excited about this. I'm hoping that the pieces that I'm just ordering are going to arrive quite prompt so that I can film this this week. But failing that, it will have to be over the weekend. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this job. I can't wait for you to see it. I have a few home bits to show you. So I will show you those once I finished work. I wanted to show you the chairs that I unboxed in the last vlog. I know I didn't actually show you them in that vlog, but I ended up building them over the weekend. So I thought I would show you them today. This is how it is looking. I am honestly over the moon with this purchase. I think they are absolutely perfect. And I even love them at the dining table with the um, six, the residence rattan chairs that we have. I just feel like it works so nicely. This is honestly the best chair for my office. It's so comfortable. And to have this like rounded edge, I think is just so nice and comfortable. It feels quite sturdy. I am absolutely in love with them. I did get a couple of questions on Instagram about the quality. And I think the quality is amazing. I don't know if you can see properly on camera, but it's a really gorgeous linen, really textured. I love the depth with like the two-tone and the wood is also amazing. However, the other chair I've half built because I cannot get these legs in for the life of me. You have to do it at an angle and they're just not fitting. I'm following the instructions and it just isn't working. Um, and we ended up getting back well, I picked Jack up really late last night, so we didn't eat dinner till like half nine. And um, I've kind of left this for him to have a look at and see if he can do it. Because I don't know if you just need to be quite strong to shove them in. But the other chair was absolutely fine, so I feel like I'm doing something wrong. But anyway, I just love them. You can probably see the colour a little bit better in the natural light. But oh, they are so beautiful. So, speaking of my office, kind of one of the rooms that we want to start with first. There's a couple of rooms that we're going to kind of go all guns blazing and try and get them to a really good standard so that then it's just kind of decorating and like surface level design and not actual kind of painting and all of that stuff. I'm gonna put a mood board of my office kind of vibe in here. The first mood board that I'm sharing with you of the house, very exciting. This is the vibe of how I'm imagining my office being. I've got a fireplace, which is so amazing. So I'm gonna be having like a marble, fireplace around and a mantle and the whole vibe of the room is just going to be very simple kind of similar to the vibe of our apartment to be honest um nice neutral linens nice oatmeal cream shades a cool tone laminate herringbone floor which will be throughout the whole downstairs so really seamless um i might do some kind of archway built-in bits next to the fireplace and do some shelving and some cabinets for storage um, but we will see. I'm not sure. I may change my mind. Obviously, these are the chairs that are going to be by my desk. I'm going to have the same desk as I've got currently in the office. My one from Swoon, which you guys love. And unfortunately, it's so old. They no longer sell it. But I love it so much. I looked high and low for a desk like that. I knew exactly what I wanted. And I found it. And it was amazing. However, I will be having my sofa bed, which is currently in the guest slash office room now in my office because I love that sofa bed and I really wanted to have multiple kind of options for seating in there but also it seems really silly to not use the sofa bed and get rid of it when we've already got it and it's literally brand new it just seems so silly to get rid of it so um I kind of wanted to incorporate that into my office which then means we will have an additional guest room if for any reason we have multiple people staying or I don't know like two couples or whatever it just means that we've got the option of having two guest rooms although we would actually have three guest rooms one of them is going to be our dressing room so it just means that we've got another option so that is brilliant but i did think it would be quite nice to upgrade it a little bit and make it a bit less ikea -y. um the fabric is really nice but it's just quite a thick canvas and it's not that luxurious it doesn't feel that soft Although it will go with the room, I kind of just want everything to feel a little bit more bespoke. And doing things like changing the covers or painting things really adds your own touch onto something. So I ordered a couple of samples from Comfortly, which is basically a company that do covers for IKEA furniture. So sofas, armchairs, sofa beds, whatever you have, if you want to upgrade it, if you want to change the style of it, 
get a cover and you're literally sorted. It's a much better way of updating a piece of furniture, especially when it's from Ikea. This isn't sponsored by the way, I ordered these samples myself. <laughs> Um, so I ordered four samples to try. I'm gonna switch you around and show you because I think I've decided which one I want. So these are the four samples that I ordered. We've got just a basic cream boucle. I'm always umming and ahhing whether I want to go for this, but I don't know. I do think it's quite a trend piece and I would rather have smaller accessories in this rather than the whole sofa. I then ordered this one, which is a bit of a velvety kind of creamy fabric i really like this i like the texture and it is so soft but i'm not sure if velvet is really the vibe i want to go for and then i also ordered a couple of linens so we've got natural linen and we've also just got the normal linen in the linen blend so these two i'm absolutely loving i can't believe it because i'm leaning towards this one because look at this color match i can't believe how similar that is, it literally works so perfectly. And this is exactly why you should order samples of things because you can really see how it's gonna work with like furniture, curtains, flooring, all of that stuff. Right, I have just got here. Oh my God. So I didn't really look at the journey to get here and I just thought I'll put it on my sat nav. I'll take my time. This is a good test for me because I've actually never driven anywhere that I don't know. And I've never driven anywhere following the sat nav on my own. And I did it and I got here. And although I did have a bit of a panic and thank God the roads were really quiet because it was like big roundabout onto the M20 and I was like, ah, but I did it and I'm very proud. So I've got a few minutes to spare. The car park's quite far away and I was kind of driving around like, where am I going? But I made it and I'm very proud of myself. So I'm gonna go in and have my treatment and I'm very excited. So I'll bring you along with me and um, yeah let's see how it goes hopefully i'll try and film some stuff while i'm in there um and i will bring you along with me of a journey it is now quarter to four can you believe i've literally been out since quarter past 12 i left um but i had to fill up with petrol i drove over to bow boutique oh my goodness it was absolutely amazing i'm gonna put in some video clips that um were taken on my phone because i didn't get my camera out i had my camera next to me but it was really hard to film and concentrate on what was going on but it wasn't painful, it was just weird, like a really weird sensation. And it took me, so we started on level 20 and it goes up to 100, it's kind of zero to 100. So we started on 20, we went up to 50 and I was like, okay, I'm kind of getting used to it now. So I think I stayed on about 60 for about 10 minutes. And then we were like, right, let's get it up to 100. I think I can do it. And it was so good, I really enjoyed it. It's not like a relaxing, chilled half an hour, but it was amazing. So I'm definitely gonna book in for the rest of the treatments because I think I'm gonna see some good results. And the lady that saw me said that I should see good results. So fingers crossed. Also, I think I mentioned this in the clip earlier, but I drove on the motorway with my sat nav for the first time ever. I've never ever done that before. And I was so proud of myself. And then I drove back a different way and I actually went all through the country lanes, like left and right, and like one way country lanes. That's something I was also really scared about, but I did it and I'm so proud of myself. And it did take me quite a while because I was driving 30 miles an hour and people were overtaking me, but it's all good. I made it and I'm so proud of myself. And that anxiety that I felt about doing that has just completely gone now and I feel so good about it. So very proud. I then quickly drove straight to Waitrose and just did the weekly shop. It's actually, a weekly shop with a bit extra because Nadia's coming and I am the hostess with the mostess. So I wanted to have all the snacks, all the breakfast bits for the weekend. And also I'm filming a job with m and Home and I want to cook some specific meals for um, my tablescape that I'm doing with them. So I also got a few extra bits for that. 
Um, and then I got my car cleaned because I drove past the car wash and it was empty, there was no one in there. So I thought, right, this is my chance. I needed to get my car cleaned for a while and I wanted to get it cleaned before Nadia came. So that is all done. Ticks off all my jobs, I'm very pleased, which also means tomorrow I don't have to go out. I can literally stay in all day and film all day. Because I don't know if anyone else is like this, but if you are self-employed or you work from home, if I have something to do in the day and it means going out the house, I need to do it first thing, otherwise it just ruins my whole day. I feel so like out of sorts. So anyway, I've unpacked the food shop and I thought I'd just give you a little mini look at what I got, because I love seeing what people get from the food shop. And I don't wanna bore you, I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but I'll just give you an overview. Okay, so drinks. I've got my classic vanilla milk for my iced coffee. I actually also saw the Oatly one, so I thought I'd give that a go and see what that's like as well. I then got apple juice for the weekend, a bottle of Cremant for um, me and Nadia to have, and then I also got a top up of Jack's vodka because he likes to have a vodka tonic, and we ran out. And then meal-wise, I've got quite a selection of stuff. This is quite different to my usual weekly shop, to be honest. I've got a few extras. But I got some fresh fusilli pasta. This is for when Nadia comes. I'm doing like an Italian themed dinner because I'm gonna be doing that with m &S. I saw these and I thought they looked really nice. Mozzarella and basil arancini. Garlic bread. I've got loads of salad and vegetables and stuff. Um, I also got some olives to snack on, some grapes. And then I got some cheese. I got mozzarella and tomato to do like a nice with my basil. Um, on Thursday, pa fresh pesto for the pasta, feta for salads, parmesan for pasta, um, we always get through so much parmesan, so this big block is really good, hummus as well for snacks, I got for dinner tonight, I'm going to do, I do like this thing, we call it chicken kebabs, but it's not really, I basically do like a nice chicken with a really nice salad, Jack sometimes has wraps with it, and some rice, so this is what I picked up, the mango and coconut chicken breast steaks. They look really good. So I got some of those. I also got some ribs for Jack tomorrow and also some salmon for me. This is my absolute favourite one, the miso and maple glaze. It is so yummy. Um, I can't remember why I got these, but these stay in date for ages and sometimes they're quite handy just to have in the fridge in case Jack wants them. Then more snacks. These are Jack's favourite crisps and I haven't tried these before so I thought I'd get those as well. I love this brand. They're really, really good. Some little pita breads for the hummus. I thought these looked really nice. Multi-seed and cereal. The food doctor. This is the best sticky rice ever if you're lazy like me and are not going to make rice from scratch. And then I got, um, this is also very lazy, I wanted to make a cake basically for my m and job next week. So I picked up this. I know it's very lazy and we did make a lemon drizzle from scratch the other day. And then I saw this and thought this would be amazing. So I got this Sicilian lemon icing to go on top. Then for the freezer, I got Jack some Mars ice creams. And then I also got some frozen pastel donata because we already have some frozen croissants in the freezer. And I thought these would be really nice for when Nadia comes because I know she likes these. And you literally just pop them in the oven and it's so nice and it just makes a bit of a change to having like toast or something a bit basic. These are also the best chips ever. We always have these chips in the freezer. And then I just had to top up some of the laundry stuff. So this is what I use. Always get the biggest pack just because it lasts so much longer. Um, Vanish Oxy Action, this is so good for whites. And then the Lenore Double Orchid Laundry Detergent, which smells absolutely amazing. It smells like a diptyque fragrance. Right, I've done my tan, my classic Saint-Tropez and Tanlux drops on my face. This colour is so nice, I absolutely love it. It's just such a gorgeous natural tan. So I can wash this off in the morning. These pajamas are from HA Designs. I absolutely love them. They're such a gorgeous color. And um, yeah, they're really comfortable. So time to make some dinner. Good morning. It is a beautiful day today. Oh my goodness. I need to find somewhere to put you. The lighting is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this sunshine. Oh, such a dream. I am just gonna make my iced coffee. I've also, I've actually been up for ages. I've done a wash load, I've made the bed, I've done my makeup and filmed it and posted it on Instagram already. 
and yeah so if you want to see like a breakdown of all the skincare products and beauty products that i'm using on my face every day i literally use the same things every day um then head over to my instagram because it's all on there but i'm gonna make my iced coffee and i'm gonna try out this new oatly vanilla milk um because i'm very intrigued to see what it's like the only reason i use vanilla milk by the way i can't remember if i said this before is because i just i don't really like coffee but i like the caffeine so it's nice to just have a bit of um sweetness i just find coffee quite bitter my restock oh no ice tray is coming in handy lots of ice these glasses i always get questions on they're from soho home nadia got them for me for i think it was my birthday last year and i absolutely love them Right, let's give this a taste. Hmm. Huh. Oh, that vanilla milk is not vanillaing. Where's my other one? That is literally not vanilla. Are they sure that that oat drink vanilla? I can't taste vanilla in that at all. We're going to have to top it up, this one, because, oh my goodness, that is horrible. I just don't like the taste of coffee. It's so bitter. I don't know how people drink, like, black coffee. Nadia and Jack drink black coffee, and I'm literally like... Oh, so much better. Maybe I put too much coffee in for that vanilla milk. We'll have to try again tomorrow. But anyway, coffee, well, pretty much just milk with a bit of coffee in it. <laughs> um, and let's go prep some outfits because today is a filming day. I also haven't done my hair yet. I literally haven't even brushed it. I woke up with my hair like this. Um, but I really wanted to get a makeup video filmed this morning because the lighting was so nice. I'm in a good mood this morning, can you tell? <laughs> so let's go and crack on. It's literally like, eight o'clock in the morning and I'm already like, woo. <laughs> goodness i haven't picked up my camera all day i've been filming editing cleaning styling things it's been a very very busy day but it is now four o'clock and as much as i would love to sit on the sofa and watch a film right now because it's so stormy outside i just heard the loudest thunder i am waiting for a delivery from MS home because i need to film my video with them and i'm just patiently waiting if it doesn't come today i'm gonna to be so annoyed because it is scheduled to arrive literally in the next half an hour it should be here so fingers crossed it does actually come but oh so annoying i also still need to make the lemon cake so i'm gonna hopefully do my ms table and then make the lemon cake fingers crossed but we shall see. And then I'm going to do the second half of it tomorrow when... Can you hear the thunder? I've got the window open, so you might be able to hear it. Um, I'm going to do the second half of the video tomorrow, which is when I'm, like, adding in the food. But 
I have just, sorry about the awkward camera angles, my arms are hurting. Um, I've just styled my flowers and I am so happy with them. This is gonna become my favorite way to style flowers ever, especially when I'm hosting. I am just envisioning all the amazing things that I can do in the house with all the different tables and all the different areas and garden table and oh my God, I am so excited. Let me show you. So this is my Italian wild garden summer tablescape. I am so obsessed with this. So let me talk you through what I did. I have got floristry foam in the bottom here, two blocks of that. And I've wrecked, because you need to soak them for at least two minutes um, completely in water. I think I must have left them for about five. Um, I've So they're covered in water, so they're really good for um, real flowers. I've rested them on these little H&M trays that I had um, just storing random things on around. I don't know if you can see. Um, they still sell those, so I'll link those below in case you want to try this for yourself. Um, and then I've got real flowers from literally Waitrose, and then everything else is faux. So the hydrangeas, everything that I showed you, the anemones, the delphiniums, and what else have I got? Oh, these little bits of blossom. So everything I showed you in the video last week is now in here amongst a couple of other little bits and bobs. These were so annoying, these hyacinths. I could not stand them in because they're so flimsy on the stem. So that is balancing very carefully. My only issue is I've styled it over here so I could get on with filming it for TikTok and Pinterest. However, I need to transport this to the table when I've done the table design. So that's gonna be a bit tricky. Although I haven't connected them, I feel like they're gonna be awkward to transport, so I need to do that very carefully. But I absolutely love it. And it even looks amazing on this sideboard. Like, how incredible does that look? I absolutely love it. Oh, I think it looks amazing. I actually think I'm gonna start, in the new house, once we've got the dining room and the kitchen done, I think I'm gonna start doing like a centerpiece like this every couple of weeks instead of just having a bunch of flowers and obviously adding in the faux flowers as well and just maybe like a couple of bunches of real flowers just to give it a nice scent and give it that, that kind of like wild feeling because I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I think it looks amazing and I can do so many different vibes. I can do like just all hydrangeas. I could do taller. I could do shorter, different colors. I absolutely love it and I love the blue so much. So I've got stuff everywhere, tripods, boxes, rubbish bags, branches, and I'm pretty much just waiting for the stuff to arrive to do the table. But let me show you these blossom branches because I've added these in here. These are faux flowers from Amazon, the ones that I showed you in last week's video, and I am so impressed. I have cut off all the leaves because I feel like the leaves are what make faux flowers look awful. Um, they're just so bright green, they look horrible. But I kind of styled them in a way that look relatively real, I think. But I just love it. I think it looks gorgeous. And it's such a nice, subtle, feminine spring touch compared to just the normal branches, which is quite autumnal. I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, the pieces have arrived. Literally, as I was saying that, I looked onto the tracking link and it said they'd been delivered and they were left downstairs. So <laughs> I didn't even realize. So let me show you what I have chosen. I am so excited about this. And updating my kind of dining wear, table wear, all of that stuff is something that I really want to do more of in the new house because we're gonna actually have more space. I'm gonna have a whole pantry cupboard type thing in the dining room purely for posting styling pieces, kind of dining wear and crockery and serving wear and tablecloths and all of that stuff. Oh, this is gonna be handy for moving. I'm gonna keep this. At the minute, I'm um, keeping so much packaging for when we move, because it's just so handy, I don't have to buy it. Okay, everything is individually wrapped, so this might take me a while. The problem is, it's all well and good me keeping all the packaging, but I've got nowhere to put it. <laughs> Okay, so first thing I got was some new plates. I absolutely love these. These are called the Hampton plates, dinner plates. They've got like a really light 
grey um, stripe around the edge. So beautiful. A little bit more kind of fancy than what we already have, which is so nice. All of our plates are just plain white. So it's really nice to have something a little bit different. So I got four of those. And then I also got four pasta bowls as well. These are actually quite small, but I guess a serving of pasta isn't huge. So these are four pasta bowls, which I thought would be so perfect. We actually don't have any bowls this size. All of our bowls are like quite small or really big. So it's such a nice in the middle. And I'm imagining styling them on the table like this. <gasps> Love it. Okay, so all the rest of them are in here. I got four pasta bowls um, as well. And then to go on the table, I just got a plain white linen tablecloth because I only have one tablecloth and it's like a beigey linen colour. And although I don't love covering up the table because I love it, it's my pride and joy, I do really love the vibe that a white tablecloth gives and it's something that I don't have. So I thought this would be really, really useful, especially in the new house, outside in the garden, just to give a completely different vibe and really just brighten up the space. Sometimes my table because it's quite a strong texture and color isn't really the right vibe so this is going to be perfect this was also only 30 pounds i'm just hoping that it fits but i think it should be fine oh my god and these i am so excited about so i have seen so many scalloped um placemats all of them are just not my vibe. They're like bright pink, green and pink. The edges are pink. They're red. They're just not colours that I love. And I found these and I was like, oh, this is exactly what I've been looking for. A bit of colour, but still so minimal. So I got two sets of these. So I've got four of them. How beautiful are these with the ruffling edge, the dark navy blue. I think the navy blue is going to look so nice against this grey. <gasps> I'm in love. Also, these were only £10 for a pack of two. M&S is literally one of my favourite places. I love it. I actually got some new champagne flutes because we don't have any flutes. Our champagne glasses are quite big or we have like saucer ones. And these are so much nicer to drink out when you're like celebrating something or, you know, when it's like a bit of a nicer occasion. So I got four of these to go around the table. They're just really really simple let me open this up and show you there we go super super simple i love a long stem these are absolutely beautiful i love how it really tapers really small <gasps> gorgeous the next thing i got were two candlestick holders these are just simple clear these are actually plastic which i think is really good for using in the garden um i actually did think they were glass but they're only nine pound fifty and I got two of these. I just thought for dinner candles, really simple. I don't actually have anything like this and I love them. So I got two of those. And then of course, to go in the candle holders, I got some dinner candles. These are a very cute design. They're kind of like a twisted, twizzly white design. It's giving flumps, which are literally my favorite sweet ever. Oh, they're a little bit small for the candle holder, but it'll work oh my god i love them so cute and i've got one more huge box here more packaging and it's a box inside a box oh my god i absolutely love this so this is this is so much better than i thought oh my god oh this is amazing Okay, this is a vase and I absolutely loved this when I saw this on the website. Just something completely different to anything that I have. It's almost like an urn style. Imagine this with some blue hydrangeas in or white. I absolutely love it. It's kind of like this marbly, brownie blue effect. Oh my God, beautiful. And I love this urn vibe with the handles. That is incredible. This was only £39.50, which... I actually think it's incredible. M&S Home is fabulous. So here's my vase. And I also chose a cake stand. 
oh my god the packaging is crazy so i got a proper glass cake stand which now will explain why i need to make a cake to go on the cake stand <laughs> look how amazing this is just super simple glass clear cake stand I'm gonna put that down because I don't trust myself holding that. So, this is my vibe of the table. You've seen my flowers. Now, let's get making the table and filming for my job. And then I'm gonna have to clear all this up because look at this mess. bed it is 8 30 on the dot and oh, i'm so happy to be in bed we are going to watch something on tv and get a nice early night I had a really good dinner tonight i made the salmon and it was very yummy and i also made the lemon cake which i will show you tomorrow <laughs> lucky there's no mirrors um and i'm also wearing my napco pajamas which are my absolute favorites they're fresh out the wash they smell amazing and they're so comfortable i love sleeping in these so yes i will see you in the morning good night good morning everyone it is thursday today i keep forgetting the day because it really feels like Friday because Nadia is coming today and it feels like the weekend is kind of starting. Um, I've been really busy this morning. I woke up with Jack this morning at just before six and I was out of bed at 20 past six doing my skincare, brushing my teeth and filming because I was just finishing off my M&S home ad which I actually didn't show you anything of because I realised that this vlog is going out on Monday and that content might not have been approved yet so I didn't want to spoil any surprises or get in any trouble for sharing anything um but see it on my instagram so i'll link it down below i feel like i'm looking a bit weird i think i need to put some um bronzer on or something anyway i made the cake yesterday which you would have seen unfortunately it wasn't that good let me show you it's currently in my new cake stand which is my absolute pride and joy i really need to get better at baking because can you see how flat this cake is I mean, it smells absolutely incredible, but why is it literally like a pancake? I used a cake mix and it still looks like this. I can't understand it, but this icing is unbelievable. It's Sicilian lemon and it's a lemon cake. I know it's going to taste amazing, but it's just not giving what I wanted it to give. I thought it was literally going to be like up here. <laughs> so definitely to get better at baking i don't know what i've done there but it looks nice anyway and it's something to put in the cake stand for when nadia arrives later i've just been busy this morning getting nadia's room all ready so i thought i'd give you a little tour of our guest room which is usually my office so this is how the sofa bed looks if you've watched my vlogs a lot you've probably seen this loads i always kind of do the same sort of setup but i tell you what i cannot wait to have a guest room that just always stays the same it's so much easier but this is really easy to do to be honest it's just a bit annoying having to like get all the bedding out and redo all the bedding and iron it all again it's just so much easier to keep it fresh so this is how it's looking all of my bedding is the linen bedding from bed folk i absolutely love it this cushion is burford garden company i always have this out i absolutely love it these cushions are from MS home artwork by me lamp is from b and q and it was actually silver and i painted it gold and then this mirror is from MS home as well i've just moved up my desk a little bit and gave nadia a little station here if she wants to get ready here and then I've gone a bit extra and I've given her some fresh towels. I always do that. But I've given her a little robe because I just washed this a couple of days ago and it was folded up in the laundry cupboard. And I thought, oh, that might be really nice because she loves getting out the shower and putting a robe on. So I've just tied up my Napco robe for her if she wants to wear that after her shower when she's getting ready. Okay, 
Okay, Nadia is here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she is just about to unbox. Where are they? Oh, okay. Her Dalesford <laughs> treats, which yeah. I'm so excited about. So Nadia's gonna vlog, and I'm guessing you watch Nadia's vlog, so <laughs> I don't want to double, double Set film. Me up somewhere. So I'll show you them when she's unboxed them. <laughs> so this is the selection of bits that Nadia brought. Honestly, what did I do to deserve Nadia? Um, well, and Johnny, because he also picked these for Jack. The packaging is just unbelievable. Um, this is literally my favourite kind of sparkling rosé. It's delicious. And also, Nadia said that she really likes this, and I'm so excited to try it. A sparkling tea. How amazing. I cannot wait to try that. All my favourites. She literally knows me so well. And also, how amazing is this? She said that... Um, this would be great for like a bougie kitchen salt and I love it. Just taking my dog for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's lovely walking in the rain. I know. Refreshing. I bet people think that we would like never walk in the rain. Yeah, yeah. here we are. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still protecting the hair. <laughs> Okay, we are at the pub. Here we are. We literally look like twins. I know, well you look more like legit. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have got our food, delish. We're gonna sit here and enjoy the sun while it's out, even though we're in the shade, but. No, it's still warmer than It is, it's actually so nice. Yeah. Look at the sun down there, beautiful. We have left the pub. I am so hot. I've had to take my jumper and my jacket off. I'm giving summer. You're still giving. <laughs> you're still giving rain. Like taking my spots under this. <laughs> <laughs> but we are just walking back. Had it's a lovely so lunch, and the weather is literally so nice. Look at the sky. Blue sky. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday morning. We have been up bright and early. We are. We're almost ready to leave. Um, we are heading into Thomas Wells today and we're gonna go for brunch. We are going to, why am I looking so white? That's better. We are going to have a wander around, have a look at some shops and just have a nice kind of chilled morning slash midday. Nadia is also getting a facial with my mum, which is gonna be so nice. I'm very excited for her. Um, I'll probably just go for a coffee with my mum and then head back and see what we fancy doing for the afternoon. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for today. I am wearing Novo Cashmere Body. I literally love these, they're so soft. Um, Reese trousers. This is literally like my fail safe outfit when I don't know what to wear. And also my Zara bomber jacket. Nice and easy. Very simple, comfy, but put together because it's not looking super sunny today. Although the weekend is literally 20 degrees. So I'm very excited about that. So yeah, I'll bring you along with us. Oh my God, also I'm gonna drive and it's the first time you see me drive. Are you? Yeah. I'm quite <laughs> Don't be nervous, I'm not that bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hey guys, we've just been to the Ivy for breakfast and we are on our way to my mum's um, facial studio. Oh, they're really pretty. Oh, they, oh, this is the one you said about us. Um, yeah, this one and then, yeah, this one and the one on the other side. They're really nice. 
just got distracted by some flowers. Um, but yeah, my mum was just waving at us out the window, so we're just going up to for Nadia to get her facial. Exciting! Good morning from a very fresh faced me. I am up so early for a Saturday morning. It's actually nearly eight o'clock and Nadia left this morning super early. Her and Jack were both out the door, I think at half six. Nadia had to get back, she's got lots on today. But we had such a nice couple of days. Honestly, it was so chilled and we just kept saying how it's so nice to just not have loads of plans, not have loads of like lunches, loads of socialising. We just had a really chilled couple of days to really reset and it's exactly what we both wanted. Also that was the last time Nadia was going to stay at the flat which is crazy. I actually can't believe that um, it's nearly moving time. It's wild. It's just so crazy. I cannot believe it's come around so quickly. Um, but yes, I am fresh faced, I'm still in my pyjamas, I haven't brushed my hair, I've got my iced coffee and I'm just getting on with some work this morning. And I thought I would round off the vlog because I'm editing it and I realised I didn't really vlog loads when me and Nadia were together. But to be honest, I always find it hard to keep vlogging because we just chat so much, we just end up sitting and chatting and chilled and it's just we never like have a huge agenda of stuff to do we just really relax and just enjoy our company together oh it was just so lovely yesterday we went for brunch which you would have seen we went to the ivy and then nadia had her facial with my mum which honestly i'm not even saying this her skin looked unbelievable my mum is just amazing she's so good and then we went for a coffee with her after and just sat and chatted for like an hour or two and then we drove back and we literally i think we got home at like four o'clock and we just spent the whole rest of the day sat on the sofa we watched tv like just rubbish tv in the background and we just sat and chatted for hours and hours and it's always what we do we literally could spend our life just sat on the sofa chatting we had pizza with jack last night and then we went to bed about nine o'clock and i honestly feel so rested and like rejuvenated and just so zen this morning i feel amazing so it was so needed I sometimes think like when you see your friends you're like oh let's do this let's do this like let's drink loads of wine and like have a really amazing time but actually you don't need to do any of that you can just go for a nice walk wander around a town and then just chill and get an early night and it's exactly what we both wanted so yeah it was amazing and I feel like that was my little reset before the moving chaos starts because we've got two weeks to go and I haven't packed a single item and I have a lot to do so the next couple of weeks are going to be super busy with getting ahead with work and packing so I have a lot going on but yeah thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next one bye